billion dollar project to fix a century's worth of damage at Braddock Bay was completed last year, and high waters this year are putting that to the test. James Gilbert went to see how the project is holding up. Braddock Bay in Greece has been damaged by decades of development up and down Lake Ontario. So that's about the 100 acre area that we've, that we've lost. Okay. A natural embankment once protecting the bay has disappeared. It's supposed to sit right here. We would have seen this regular wave energy, these windy days just basically lopping off and eroding big pieces of wetland. A three year, $10 million project built this to fix the problem and prevent damage in the future. Army Corps of Engineers Josh Ungeyer says it prevents those damaging waves. The winds today are gusting 30 plus miles per hour, but yet you can still see a lack of wave action. This project has actually helped reduce erosion that can turn the bay back to what it once was. Record high water levels put this project to the test. The new embankment passed. We've seen a huge increase in the amount of wetland habitat. About 40 more species we're seeing now in the wetlands than we didn't see a couple years ago before we did some of that work. Healthier wetlands, more tourism, more bird watchers like Mike Tetlow. Yeah, Braddock's Bay is the concentration point for raptors and migration in the spring. He showed me a bald eagle sitting on the embankment. The break wall just adds an element of shorebirds and, and seabirds and things like that that we didn't get before. In just two years, a recovery's beginnings that should last half a century. James Gilbert, News 8. And despite the high water, Braddock Bay's floating docks are still functioning well, and less wave action has made that easier now for boats to access Lake Ontario. Quite a scene, though, at Braddock's Bay. A new law.